Anyone else? Heads bowed. Eyes closed. While the heads are bowed, the eyes are closed. I'm about to pray. If God has been touching your heart and you feel you need to make this decision, will you not make it now before I pray? The Word of God has touched me this week. I've seen myself more clearly for who I am. I need to resume my walk with God. I'm convicted to be baptized or to be rebaptized. I want you to come and make that decision while heads are bowed and eyes are closed just before I pray. If you're being convicted, then it's God's will. Answer the conviction and come. Someone else. While heads are bowed and eyes are closed. I'll give you 60 seconds, then I pray. In that time, come. If you're not sure you want to be rebaptized or baptized, you're not sure which decision to make, still come. The leaders will help you make the right one. Four to five seconds. Head still bowed, eyes still closed. You should be praying that hearts will be softened. The call is baptism, rebaptism. Start your walk with God all over. Some of us need to do that. 30 seconds. Lose that numbness to sin through the power of God's word, particularly as expressed in his law. 15 seconds. <coughs> Baptism, rebaptism. We're praying. Our loving Father in heaven, we thank you to God for your word. It's directness, it's power, it's clarity. We thank you, Father, for the work of the Holy Spirit in our hearts as we've listened to your divine word. Dear God in heaven, we do not want to be numb to sin. We do not want to be dumb to what you have provided in your word to make us alive to sin, which is your law. But Father, so many of us are just numb to sin. We're blind to our true condition. We're not bothered by sin. We're not troubled by all the iniquity in the world. We're just not phased by sin. And we think we're on the road to the pure and the holy. Father in heaven, it is only through your righteous, spirit-filled law that we can be convicted of our true condition. And feel our need for Jesus Christ, our righteous Savior. Father, some have answered the call. And I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, you would grant them courage, give them strength. The decision is to be baptized or rebaptized, whatever it is, they God. Confirm them in this decision, I pray. Fill them with your spirit. Give them a determination to stand by this commitment they've made to your glory and for those who should have come who are still wrestling and struggling their God I will now pause in this prayer father and call them one more time then Lord I'll come back and close it while heads are still bowed eyes are still closed is there someone else who needs to come and say Lord I'm making a decision because I've been convicted I want to be baptized or rebaptized start all over with God Anyone will make that decision while I have paused in the prayer. Just slip out and come. God bless you. God bless you. Do everything you can with God's help to ensure your salvation. If we put as much effort into our soul's salvation as we put into securing ourselves in this life, none of us would be lost. Amen. 
because we know how to secure ourselves in this life. Put the same effort into your eternal salvation. Anyone else before I close the prayer? Father, thank you for hearing us. Thank you for your word again. Let your spirit continue to trouble hearts that are resisting. I know you love us, dear God. You love us whether we're stubborn or we're cooperative. You love us, but you want us to cooperate with you. So please, through your spirit, your persistent spirit, move upon hearts that need to decide. As we leave for home tonight, let your word remain on our hearts, dear God. Give us a true picture of ourselves as we contemplate your righteous holy law. Bring us back tomorrow to hear more of your word, we pray. In Jesus' name, that all God's people say, Amen and Amen. God bless those of you who've come. We've gotten all of your names, I believe. Let's now listen to God's servant as he sings for us.